Um, so a controversy has been brought about by the Prime Minister who has come out and said that Britain is a Christian nation as a sort of statement of fact. Um, and this has provoked quite a controversy. There's been a bit of a backlash from a range of writers, politicians, public figures who have um, countered that argument. Um, so I just want to weigh in a little bit. Firstly, in terms of this being a Christian nation, it depends what we mean by that. If he means that we're a nation uh, largely comprised of Christians, that's misleading because um, church attendance in Britain is much, much lower, for example, than the United States. Um, I think it has maybe slightly increased since the 80s and the 90s period. I do think there's been more in recent years actually religion has slightly picked up again. Um, I, I've no evidence for that, it's just my perception. Um, but definitely it's not a case that um, we have a widespread number of people who go to church, That that's pretty obvious. Uh, i.e. what you would call practicing Christians. I know uh, David Cameron himself is a practicing Anglican. Um, so if he's referring to, when he talks about this being a Christian nation, certainly not a practicing Christian nation. Um, I, I don't think there's any evidence for that. Now, what people are unhappy about is the fact that this is a diverse country, a pluralistic society, and for example, organisations like the British Humanist Society have said it's alienating and it's divisive sort of language. I can see where they're coming from because Britain is a diverse nation and to only focus on one group of people, i.e. British Christians, and say, oh well, the atheists, the Muslims, the Sikhs, the Hindus, the agnostics, everyone else, um, are. he hasn't said they're not part of the nation, but by focusing specifically on one group, I think it is divisive sort of language. Um, you know, Britain's a co quite a complex situation in the sense that we have no written constitution. So it's very difficult to sort of say, oh, well, it's in the constitution. We don't have a written constitution, but nor do we have no constitution. Um, for example, the Queen, as head of state, is defender of the faith. That means the Christian faith in that context. Charles is, uh, there's been indications that when Charles becomes king, um, which will probably be sometime within the next 10 years, he will be defender of the faiths, plural, um, in other words, all faiths. It's well known that Charles has taken a big interest in Eastern faiths. He has some interest in Islam and so on. Um, I would say that there's many parts of Britain, especially urban societies, whereby the number of practicing Muslims is higher than the number of practicing Christians. And I'm not saying that as a sort of um, sweeping statement. I think it's just a fact. Um, I'm not sure what the figures are among Hindus and Sikhs in terms of and Jews among the number of people who are actually practicing. Um, I'm sure you could find people who would be identified within a particular region, but they're not particularly practicing. I mean, Sasha Baron Cohen, just to give an example. Uh, is from Jewish background, but as far as I know, he doesn't regularly go to a synagogue, for example. Um, and there'd be numerous other examples. Uh, one thing I would say, um, if he's referring cult in cultural terms and historical terms, then he is right. Uh, it is indisputable, absolutely indisputable, that Christianity has played a uniquely important role in British history. Now you could be anti-church, but that's just if you if you deny that, then you're just ignorant. Um, and it isn't an equilibrium with other religions because it has been a lot more dominant than other religions throughout our history. That's just the way it is. Um, I mean, look at the role of the church in terms, for example, of the English Reformation. Look at its role in terms of well so many things. I can name pretty much any important historic British event and I guarantee the church will have had an important role in that. So 
absolutely, in terms of our history, Britain has had a Christian history. I know people turn around and say, oh, well, look at, look at the influence of immigrants in our society. Um, but the point is, Islam, uh, Judaism does go back a bit further, but Islam, Hinduism, Sikhism and so on, really, honestly, only came about in a large way in the 20th century. That's not that's not being discriminatory or anything. That's just pointing out a fact. Uh, I'm talking about large scale. I'm not talking about the first Muslim and so on, which I believe was about 1820. Might be a little bit back, further back than that. But no, in a large scale, um, that only came about in the 20th century. So in terms of our history, Britain has had a Christian history. That's just it's just a fact. Um, there's something I personally take issue with, which is Cameron and his party trying to adopt Christian values, because in many ways their policies have been very unchristian, very callous, and very, um, especially towards the poorly disabled and not unemployed. Um, I mean, when you look at the situation that's going on with uh, the sheer number of people being driven to suicide because of the government's policies, it's very, very unchristian. So. I don't so much take issue with the fact he's using, he's talking about Christianity in a sense, but more the fact that he is associating himself with it. Um, there's many Christians I know who distance himself from Cameron and his policies, so I think that's an issue of contention. Um, I, I don't think that, you know, this is not the United States, this is not a country whereby Christianity is widely practiced and has a very, very big role in public life. The simple reality is it doesn't. On the same card, uh, I do get annoyed when I hear some atheist say it has no role. Um, during the debate yesterday, someone pointed it out, when was the last time there was a humanist food bank? Um, now, now, what they say is, oh, well, it's wrong to say Christianity is the only source of good. Of course, that's wrong to say that. But the problem is, atheists take the other extreme and they say, it's and they never acknowledge that it is a source of good. They say, oh, it's it's this terrible thing that brainwashes people. Organized religion is terrible. It's all awful. They, they, you know, they're accusing Christians of saying it's the only source of good. But they're doing just the same thing and saying that it, it's no source of good. That it's entirely bad. And they're vilifying religion by only focusing on the negative, which is religious fundamentalists and that sort of thing. To me, atheists are so negative as well. They're, they're saying that... So to me, it's two ends of the sides of the same strong. On one hand, you have fundamentalist Christians who can sometimes impose their views. I've come across them. I've no time for those sort of people. And in recent weeks, I've been questioning a lot of Christian arguments that, frankly, are illogical. Um, but that doesn't mean I have much time for atheism either and some of the sort of um, things that they come up with. You don't have to like Christianity, but to say it's irrelevant is just plain ignorant. It's wishful thinking. It's it's pure ignorant. Um, look at the number of people that go to papal masses in the Vatican, and then tell me that Christianity is irrelevant. It, that's just it's just delusional, and I think they're they're saying what they want to hear. Um, it's it's absolutely not irrelevant. You know, uh, you can not like it, you can disagree with it, but to say it's irrelevant, that's just it's just ignorant. Um, that's just an ignorant approach to take because it really isn't irrelevant. In terms of, I'm not talking about agreeing with its message. Ah, <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm talking about in terms of its role in the world. You can't say it's irrelevant. None of the Abrahamic faiths is irrelevant. None of the big religions is irrelevant because they all have an important role in the modern world in terms of um, their influence on people. It's just the way it is. Um, so my my line on this is, historically we are a Christian nation. Um, Christianity, in terms of practicing Christianity, may have slightly risen since the 80s and 90s, but I still think it's inappropriate for a British Prime Minister representing an entire nation, a diverse nation, to, to come up with that sort of statement. Um, it would be different if Cameron was saying Christianity has an important role in our society um, Happy Easter, etc, etc but for him to say that this is a Christian country that is a divisive statement 
because it is actually alienating everyone else. Even if that's not his intention, that is what it's doing. And I do think it's inappropriate in that sense. So I can't understand the controversy. However, historically we are a Christian nation. That's just a fact.